I am Harbir Singh. I am a co-director of the Mac Center and also vice dean for global initiatives at the Wharton School. So, one of the really big changes has been the virtualization of uh, innovation. You see uh, much more outsourcing, offshoring, uh, much more use of partners. So, I think that's one of the trends and we can talk more about that. Another one is a kind of a recognition that even the large corporation needs an ecosystem of players around it for it to actually access knowledge and, and also to contribute knowledge. So I think these are the two main changes. Um, and virtualization specifically is about um, you know using the internet and using communication technologies to put requests for proposals out uh, to various players and get uh, proposals in return. And from that actually develop relationships with a few of them who may have some ability to solve problems that the, the person requiring the proposal uh, has. And so I think in, a, in some sense people are accessing more efficient ways of uh, getting to teams that can work on problems that is beyond their own company's boundaries. And what's fascinating is this is no longer a low-end activity, this is also a high-end activity. And then similarly the ecosystem idea, partly if you look at certain technologies like uh, communication technologies, uh, media, uh, wireless telephony, um, you know, biopharmaceuticals, I think in these technologies, again, uh, you know, this is many of them are in the pre-industrial stage, some of them are already industries, but the new technologies are in the pre-industrial stage. So because of that, you have essentially uh, an ecosystem of players who are trying to create the next generation of a standard. And you're seeing a lot more of that. Now, I think that always was happening, but now because of the rate of change of technology, it is uh, getting condensed and companies are becoming much more explicit about being part of these ecosystems. Well, I think today, uh, as I mentioned in my overview of research of the Mac Center, uh, one of our researchers, David Shu, has uh, found that uh, venture capital backing uh, greatly increases the chances of public offering and this is not just endorsement, which is what people were thinking earlier. This is actual impact on the company's innovative system. Uh, he also finds that, uh, the, that the reputation of the venture capitalist matters. So in some sense, capital structure and financing of the venture is more important than people thought it was earlier. Earlier we knew it was just capital, but what kind of capital is important? Uh, besides that, I think another rule could be to start thinking uh, much more globally about innovation. You know, that uh, the number of engineers produced in China, for example, and in India is, is much larger than in most countries other than, the United, other than the United States. And China in the future may be producing even larger numbers of engineers uh, just because of the evolution of their educational system. So while there are language differences and so on, if you think about uh, internet technologies, you can imagine that um, entrepreneurial companies could uh, benefit from access to some of these pools of uh, scientific talent. So going cross-border is important. And I think uh, a third issue is always, you know, what we heard today in our conference, uh, the idea of uh, experimentation and exploration, uh, that, you know, there's no substitute for that. Well, I think, you know, uh, the U.S. economy is st still probably the most innovative economy in the world. Yes, we are in a downturn, um, and I think that uh, it, there are many reasons for that downturn. Some of them have to do with, um, you know, a delayed recognition that there was a downturn because of some of the financial instruments that were impacting the real estate and other parts of the economy. So in some sense, people kind of experienced a shock in, th uh, in 2007, but in fact, that downturn was happening for a while. So in terms of what can be done to foster innovation, I would say that uh, it's very important to have liquidity in the market. 
I think people are um, have become very gun shy. Investors are some of them don't have liquidity, but those that do are probably a bit too risk averse because the actual um, educated population that's trying to do new things, the the actual uh, you know entrepreneurial innovators who are trying to new things to do new things, they're still there. And so I think actually in the real economy, uh, as opposed to the financial economy, I think there are, there are many opportunities. It's a time to invest if people have money.